George Brandis, thanks for your time. My pleasure to be here, Brian. George Brandis, this plebiscite you're organising, we mm. don't have a lot of these, do we? No, we don't, Brian. A plebiscite really is just a device provided for in the Australian Constitution, uh, used principally in cases where it's considered a good idea to go and ask the public what they think. Yeah, but hasn't the public just expressed their view in the recent election? Well, in the recent election, Brian, an election I might say that the government won resoundingly. By one seat. It won it resoundingly, Brian. We won that election. We've got a majority. You speak to Christopher Pine. Okay. We won that election. Okay. We promised, if elected, to bring in a plebiscite. But we don't have a plebiscite on all issues that are considered important, No, do we don't. I mean... Not on all issues. But on significant social issues, we do have the capacity to go to the people and say, people, what do you think? I mean, a lot of countries don't have this. The Labor sure. Party doesn't want you okay. to have it. They well, want to strip your about Democratic the Labor Party. Away, Brian. Yeah. That's what they want George to do. George Brandis, why does same-sex marriage require a change to the Marriage Act? Well, because the Marriage Act was amended in 2004 specifically in order to preclude this possibility. Marriage has to be between a man and a woman currently. But, but why did the Australian public want that change made? No, they didn't want it, Brian. The government just brought that in. So the government just did it? Yeah, government just did it. So sometimes the government actually does things, is that right? Well, governments do things all the time, Brian. We're well, what, doing what is this government doing at the moment? We're organising a plebiscite into same-sex marriage, Brian. That's why I'm here talking to you. But this doesn't make sense. The Australian public was opposed, for example, to the bombing of Iraq. Yes. Why, why wasn't a plebiscite held over that? Well, I think the idea there was, Brian, that the Australian people's opposition to bombing Iraq was not an idea that yearned for expression. Although we did have a public vote on whether or not to become a republic. We did, famously with so, what yes. result? Well, that proposal was defeated. I thought people wanted a republic. Yeah, they did, Brian. I think the thought there was that they were simply asked the wrong question. That's clever. It was very, very clever, yes. So the case for the republic had the support of the Australian public yes. and was defeated in the vote? That's correct, yes. So who was running the case for the Republic? No, I forget his name, Brian, but that's certainly not going to happen this time. Why not? Well, because we've got our foot to the floor, Brian. We've got all the stops on this organ pulled right, right out. We are going to carry the day here. Don't Terrific. you worry about that. George Brandis, how's the government going? It's going well. We won a trophy this week. Really? A trophy? Yeah. What, what is it? I don't know what it was for, Brian. I just saw the headline, actually. I didn't uh, read the story. There you go. Can I see it? Yeah, Australian government, a trophy. Australian government atrophy. A big pardon? Australian government atrophy. No, it's not atrophy. There's supposed to be a gap between the A and the T. Atrophy? Why would anybody say that? I'll ring that media outlet, Brian. George Brandis, thanks for your time. It's the third time they've done that.